Hi, this is uh, New Caribou, Sir David the Bard. Well, almost every day in Utah, another weenie out of the pants story. You know, I, um, I've i driven school bus in California and uh, Massachusetts when I was uh, in college. And you can't drive a school bus anywhere in the United States that I know of without having a background check. A child molestation, criminal, drug, most of the time you have to uh, prove you're drug free and even hair test. Uh, I think hair test can go 90 days um, that you're drug free and that you're a responsible person around children. Now I've owned daycare centers. I was a, a background check there. Um, I certainly ran uh, day, uh, uh, residential treatment facilities in um, uh, Blue Springs, Missouri and uh, Kansas. I was checked out by both of those states and uh, Massachusetts. I ran uh, two or three uh, residential facilities and checked out in all of those states. Um, they take your fingerprints. That goes into the national database and uh, if you ever commit a crime <laughs> they run fingerprints you're gonna pop up you're gonna pop up now <clears throat> I don't know what the hell Utah is doing I have no idea I'm as amazed as you people are that there's so much molestation uh, in the state of Utah of children <clears throat> this is certainly the state of the giant redwood erections that children have to run around all the time to get home to grandma's house. And the big bad wolf is always there in his garments. Alright, let me read this to you. Because I know all the Mormons say, oh, he's lying. He's making this shit up you. I wish I was. I wish I was making it up, these poor kids. This is reported now, uh, the Salt Lake Tribune, uh, Friday, October 26, at uh, 3.46 p.m. Eastern Utah. Vice Principal Arrested in Child Sex Abuse Case. A Vice Principal at Vernal, V-E-R-N-A-L, which is out in the middle of nowhere, the desert here in Utah. Vernal Middle School has been arrested on suspicion of child molestation. And this is, uh, what does it say, middle school? Uh, yeah, middle school would be 7th uh, through ninth grade here in Utah. David Papakdakakas. P A P A D A K O S was arrested Thursday and booked into the Uinta County Jail on suspicion of aggravated sexual abuse of a child and forcible sexual abuse. According to the statement from Assistant Vernal Police Chief Keith Campbell, the department began investigating this man, Papaduskas, earlier this month. Police say. He abused one child over a period of about two years. See, you never catch these clowns on the first child they molest. They always hit 10 or 20 or 30 or 50 children before you finally catch their ass. The victim is not a student at the school. Yeah, well, who is the victim? It's, she's probably a victim at another school, Campbell said, declining to discuss the case further. Uh, this man's bail has been set at $150,000. Uh, a search of Utah court records show formal charges have not been filed against this man. The Tribune will update this story as more information uh, becomes available. Well, sad to report, but you know, as soon as uh, you see the sign that says, uh, Welcome to Utah on Interstate 15 coming over from Arizona, uh, there's, um, you know, a huge erection on the sign. It says, warning, do not bring your kids into this state. What next? Why can't the Mormons control this? They make their kids go to seminary. They make you go to church. They make you go to general conference. They make you, they make you, they make you. How come they can't make you keep your damn penis in your pants? Maybe they should give uh, their members a, a, a formal uh, approved uh, sex uh, outlet 
rather than everybody walking around with a wet vagina and a, and a, and a hard on. Oh, not a hard on. I can't say that on YouTube. <laughs> it has to be an erection. <laughs> Damn. Oh, God. Don't tell YouTube I said that word. So, anyway, sad for the kids and certainly not even funny for the Mormons, but they can control everything but genitalia. They control everything in this state except genitalia. And you can't control your own genitalia. I guess it's the Holy Ghost that's causing all of these problems. Thanks.